Volkswagen are trying to unlock all the potential of the Polo platform here in India. Sometime back, they brought us the high-tech and punchy Polo GT TSI. And now, we've got this. The tougher version of the Polo, the Cross Polo. Straight away, the Cross Polo looks tougher and bigger. Most of which is down to the plastic cladding that's guarding the lower half of the car. Now sitting in all that matte black is the silver chin guard at the front and diffuser at the rear. All these cosmetic changes have increased length by 17mm and width by 16mm. And if you look at it, it also feels a little bit taller, which it is by 21mm. And that's because of the silver roof rails. They really make the Cross Polo look a lot more adventurous. As if all this wasn't enough to distinguish the Cross Polo from the regular Polos, it also gets a single bar grille. On the downside, the wheels look quite puny inside those muscular wheel arches. So, it looks tougher and gives the impression of being tougher, but mechanically it's identical to the Polo hatch. It's front wheel drive, it's got the same 15 inch rims that we've seen on the Polo Highline, and uh, well, when it comes to ground clearance, which is so important, it's got 168 millimeters. Same as the Polo hatchback. Internationally, the Cross Polo gets 17 inch rims and 15 millimeters of extra ground clearance. So, if you decide to head off the tarmac with the Indian Cross Polo, remember to tread with care. Especially because the diesel Polo sump sits quite low, and that isn't something you want to bash on a rock. But on the road, that's where the Cross Polo is really meant to be used. Well, the motor isn't uh, special. It's the three-cylinder 1.2-liter diesel motor that we've seen in the Polo all this while. If you are expecting a bit more punch to go with the new look, you will be a bit disappointed as the motor isn't retuned. It has 74 bhp of power and 11 kilograms of torque, which is identical to the regular Polo. Now this motor really is an enthusiastic low down in the rev range. It feels quite sluggish. You really have to make a lot of gear changes to keep pace with traffic and just to make your way through. But once this thing crosses 2000 rpm and gathers space, it feels adequate. But there is one area where the Cross Polo feels very reassuring. The good thing about the suspension is it suits the character of the car. Or broken, bumpy surfaces, this doesn't get tossed about. It feels nicely tied down without feeling harsh. BW is offering the Cross Polo in the range-stopping Highline trim, so it gets leather treatment for a few bits. And there's the double din music system. There's also ABS, airbags and parking sensors. Beyond that, there's nothing different to mark it as special. So, can the Volkswagen Cross Polo manage to do better than its cousin, the Skoda Fabia Scout? I think many people would opt for the Cross Polo if it came at a slight premium over the regular Polo. But paying 60,000 rupees extra is a bit steep when you consider that this isn't a tougher hatch it is just a tougher looking hatchback and that does limit the appeal of the Cross Polo to a great extent and makes it a bit of a hard sell.